Hello. 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 <laughs> and they don't get any better. <laughs> Welcome to week two of the Stage Stars weekly podcast, which are starting back up for November. And on this Hope. week's episode, we've got James's weekly quiz. That will hopefully be a quiz. We've got a new feature, the weekly challenge. Make Scott laugh, makes a return. Ask us anything. Couch potato catchphrase. Would you rather? And Sophie's fascinating fact. And we're going to get started, first of all, on the weekly quiz. Now, if you remember, Sophie won the quiz last week um, and is therefore in the lead with the series. So it's all to play for over the next couple of podcasts because by the pantomime, the winner will get their prize. So, James, over to you for our weekly quiz. Thank you, Scott. James here. Um, right. <laughs> quiz time. Question one. Wellington is the capital city of what place? Wellington is the capital city of what place? Well, is it a country? Yeah. Capital city of a country? Well, yeah. quite an easy one actually I I, is I it a state or a country a country no Wellington is the capital of a country what have you got Sophie I haven't that, that doesn't, <laughs> that's not how the quiz works is it James <laughs> she just wrote down Wellington so you're saying we <laughs> need, if I need to come back to <laughs> we need, need to name Wellington. a country yeah that is that has the capital city of Wellington and bear in mind the whole point of this feature is that you're playing along at home so good luck on that one kids <laughs> some of them are even harder <laughs> Well, I'm going on to question, question, uh, question two now. What is the mathematical term 3.14159265? Yes. What is the mathematical term 3.14... What the hell is the mathematical term? That is so easy, <laughs> Rosina. Oh, my God. Don't I, copy Rosie. I saw I that. I want you guys to wiggle around no, in a page. No, to be fair, I can see the answers anyway. <coughs> there you go, we saw it. I haven't actually wrote the answers. I don't even this. know what a mathematical term is. Oh Just my guess. god. I'll give you a clue. No, no, no like no. Is it, spelling's is it a word important. Or a spelling's important. Oh no, that's it's not what I Oh I've lost then. I don't what? No. Is spelling's important. Yeah, I know what you I'm mean. So I know what you mean. I get the ju- I get the I get what you're saying. No. Is it a word or a number? Oh. Right, next question. Right, I'm lost Complete this. the Sorry. FedEx. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? FedEx. Yeah. That's the name of the company. The right good. popular complete, American company. Complete the FedEx slogan. When there's no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Do you know what the best bit about this is? I printed questions to give him some sort of idea of what to do, and he picked that one. That was... When there's no. It's actually a really famous slogan. So the FedEx slogan, when there's no, one in. Right. Parcel. <laughs> when there's no parcel. Right. <laughs> Next question, up. number four. SpongeBob seen. Snail is called. Oh no! SpongeBob Snail is called. Oh, I should know I this. Me too. These aren't my questions. Does anyone know that? No. I know. Sophie I know does. It. Sophie's sitting pretty no, in the middle. I don't. I know another character, and I've just put it down just in case it's a snail. I don't know. I, I know. I, what I, it's not I know. Oh. I know the answer. Oh no, that's a magic roundabout. I don't know. <laughs> right. Question that's five. The only other character I know. So. Yeah. <laughs> this is a bit of a cheeky one, actually. So what I did was I headed over to uh, www.stagestars.com and I looked at all of our Please staff. Please don't go to www.stagestars.com because that website isn't owned by us. <laughs> Stage-stars.co.uk <laughs> or stagestars.net. But anyway, I went on the Stage Stars website and I looked at all the staff's bios and I got a little extract out of one of the staff's bios and I'm going to read it out and guess... Right. guess How is this fair? Guess the staff member. Well, the member of staff will know. They might not. I've not even read my book. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, God. Blank, blank, blank. Works with students primarily on developing the singing confidence and vocal talents. Having done this as a stage star student. He's just given that away. No, I haven't. You, you gave it away with no, the I first didn't. three words. I knew who it was before you even said anything. Okay. No, I didn't. Well, all right. 
Oh, because you think I went blank, blank, blank because it's Rosie Mae Young? Well, that's wrong. Okay. Sucker. Oh, I'm putting Rosie Mae Young. More? Okay. <clears throat> in, oh, I want this in order, okay? If you don't get this in order, you're wrong. The most... I want it from most recent to the oldest stage star show. Brilliant. Stage star raw talent. Ratitude. Ring of Roses. I want it from most recent. Right, stop. Ring of Roses, the first time we did it? First time. Oh. First time. I repeat, first time. So Ring of Roses, Ratitude. And Stay Stars, Raw Talent. I don't even know what I'm trying to make up. Ooh. We're going to head over to question seven now. Tottenham Hotspur, the famous football club. Which one of these three is their ground, their <laughs> football stadium, where they play? White Hart Lane, St James's Park, or Greg Lane? Can you repeat the question? Yes, I can. <laughs> Tottenham's football ground, White Hart Lane, St James's Park, or Greg's Lane? Greg's Lane. Can you do the last bit again? Oh. looking at Yeah, like move them because they're in there, there, There's no answers on this sheet. I know them off my heart. Yeah. Tottenham Hospice Ground, White Hart Lane, St James's Park, Greg's Lane. Right, I'll give you enough time. We're going on to question eight. This is this is the easiest one of the bunch, so you should all get this. Mm. If y, x, and z are positive integers, oh. and three x, y equals four y, if they're positive, what? what? Integers, integers, integers. Yeah, integers. And James is taking his GCSE maths <laughs> exam this year. It is positive integers. Yeah. 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 If it's y, if x, y, and z are positive integers, yeah. they're letters. And three x equals four y equals seven z. Then the least possible <laughs> value of x plus y plus z is either thirty three. Rosina, I'm trying to talk. What? We've got. What's like going speaking on? Speaking our language because I don't understand. It's a mathematical language. Right, carry on. I'll repeat the question. No. If x, y, and z are positive <sighs> integers, and three x <coughs> sorry sorry about that <laughs> equals 4y equals 7z then the least possible value of x plus y plus z is either 33 40 49 61 or 84 4 84 4 84 that was quite an easy one I would, have, I would have got that you would have yeah I would have got that if that was in yeah. the right. no you wouldn't have here we go. Here's, here's, a, here's, here's even, a good question. Question nine. How many paintings did Vincent van Gogh sell in his lifetime? How many paintings did Vincent van Gogh sell in his lifetime? That's while he was alive, by the way. Thanks, Jane. If any of you were wondering. <laughs> we're going to head over to question ten. This is the last one. Yep. Il Raj Bush. <laughs> no, this is going out. I, I need to do my German accent. Oh, it's German. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. And he's our accent specialist. Right, bye, bye. Each land Deutsch. <laughs> That's in German, and in Portuguese, Utiano mo. That was Italian, but still. Each land Deutsch. Or what is happening? Utiano mo. Both mean what? <laughs> They both mean the same thing. Each dein Deutsch or inter animal means what? Are we getting any option on that? No. I'll give you a clue. It could be anything. I'll give you a clue. Yeah. Sophie. Each dein Deutsch. <laughs> oh, and when no. you find out the answer, Sophie, you'll be happy. Sophie. Ooh. Each dein Deutsch. I'm saying each dein Deutsch to Sophie. Right, we're gonna confer answers now. <coughs> can Question? I just can I ask yeah. for a, a re on number eight? Can yeah, you just give eight. us the options again. Okay, yeah. Thirty three is yeah. A, B is forty, C is forty nine, yeah. D is sixty one, and E is eighty four. Okay, thank you. That's okay. Right. Question one. Yeah. Wellington is the capital city of what country? Scott Wee Prep. Muddyfield. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Sophie. Um, it sounded British. The so champion. I've said New Zealand, but it's just a guess. Rosie. I haven't answered the question. Okay. Me neither. Sophie's correct! No. Yeah, New Zealand. She's the champion and she is on a roll and so she's far. She's also sat by the person with the answers. <laughs> oh, that's controversial. I'm not. I did not look at them, did I, James? No, the answers aren't on this show. No, I don't. Come on. Well, that one is. Oh, I don't want to lose. What is the mathematical term? 3.14159265. We'll start with Rosina. <laughs> I don't know. Year seven maths. Rosie. Ten. Pi. 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 Yeah, everyone got pi. Apart from Rosie, no. No. P I. I only know the three point. Do we, why do we need spelling? I don't know the rest of it. No, don't need to. Huh? No, it's did just for P I E. No. What did you put? P I. Got that then. Good. You did not put. She put P I E. If you said three point one four, three point one four backwards spells pi. What? Yeah, yeah, it does. What? Podcast is already on eleven minutes, but pi. That's not pi. Right, anyway, it does look a bit like pie. right. Complete the FedEx oh. slogan when there is no <laughs> Scott Wee Prep. <laughs> no clue. I've put hassle. Tomorrow. Oh, is there only one word? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Computer. Sophie Elvis right again! No, come, no, come on! <laughs> I've not got the answers down. When there is no there's tomorrow. No, when there is no tomorrow. Where have you heard that? When there is no tomorrow. <laughs> right, that, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Why don't Sophie... You did Post this down. No, the weekly quiz that. will not be featuring on next week's podcast. <laughs> have you heard what Rosie No, I'm not saying that. The weekly quiz... Go on, what did you put? Rosie, you Rosie, it. Rosie, what did you put? <laughs> I'm not going to say when it. When there is no... Postage stamp. It That's their slogan. Well done, Rosie. No <laughs> well done, Rosie. Well done, Rosie. Oh, well done, Rosie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Never doing another one of these again. Right. Bless SpongeBob her. snail. Right, no more picking on Rosie because she won't do it again. Yeah. SpongeBob snail. I had no idea. The only character I know is Pugwash. I knew you put George, but that was about Pugwash? it. Who's Pugwash? Pugwash? Isn't there a Pugwash? No. <laughs> I don't know and nothing Patrick. Patrick. That's it. See, oh, God, what God. have you got? Patrick. I think. Right, I put Patrick, then I put Eric, but I think it might be Gary. <laughs> Hang on, what oh, she she's really, been, what she's she's been done? She's Gary. actually, I haven't got it though. Probably Honestly, anymore. I think she's looking at the answers because the only question that I haven't got the answers to is the mathematical one, this one you got wrong. We haven't got to that one yet. Honestly, I, I actually think that, Sophie, you've been copying my answers. <laughs> Honestly, I do. I haven't looked at your Honestly, answers! Honestly, I actually I think she does. Sophie isn't a good enough liar to... I know that. I know, I've never seen Spongebob, but I know Gary. Yeah, right, yeah it is Gary. I just right, yeah, it is Gary, correct. Right, yeah, it is Gary, correct. It is Gary. It's nice that you what guys have you got? think I would be lying about this. Right, it is Gary, it is Gary. So you, well, you've, well, what's the point in marking this? Because you just said Sophie's got them all right. Oh. No, I said she's got all of them right so far. I've got all of them right, right so far, including right. the last one. Right, so whose bio is it? Work with students primarily on developing the singing confidence and vocal talents. Having done so as a stage star student, Rosina. Rosie. 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 Sophie. Sophie. I put Emily. Emily. Rosie went young. You're all wrong, it's Rosina. <laughs> <laughs> is it? <laughs> she didn't even know that herself. Well then, all right, fill in the blank, blank, blank for me, please. Rosine. Oh, right. Rosina works with students primarily. No, 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 you said blank, blank, blank. Rosina. Yeah, I was just saying blank, 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 you know, this is blank. Right. Next question. Yeah, I agree. Question six. In order, Scott, from most recent... The, oh, hang on, from most recent. Right, so oh. I'm saying <coughs> the most recent one was Stage Stars Raw Talent, because we did a Stage Stars Got Talent in 08, but I think Raw Talent right. was in 10. Right. Then Ratitude. Right. And then Ring of Roses, but I think I might have those two the wrong way around, I'm not sure. Right. So right, I think Ratitude happened first, then Ring of Roses, then Raw Talent, because that was definitely in October. Yeah. Right, okay. I thought it was Stage Stars... Right. I thought that it was from from latest. Latest. Yeah. I thought it was Ring of Roses, Raw Talent, and then Ratitude. You're all wrong. What was it? It was Stage Stars Got Talent, yeah. Ring of Roses, then Ratitude. I said I thought I had them. What? Well, no, no, no. 
yeah. Ring of Roses was in 2010. It's on the website. No, Ring of Roses was in 2010. It's the website line. Ratitude was the month before. <laughs> because Ratitude was in 2010. None of them, none, no, no, none of them were in the same year. Because I, I deliberately made them... No. They were all in 2010, weren't they? No. They were! No, they, they were all in 2010. No, they Ratitude is Pied Piper. Right, for a minute, as the quiz master has said we're all wrong, we yeah. are all wrong. The quiz master If wrong. we oh, retrospectively didn't... find out we were right, the quiz master will be sacked. Moving on. <laughs> okay, that's a bit hard. Right, Tottenham's ground, Scott. Uh, did, uh, Greg Lane. I know it wasn't the... Greg Lane! <laughs> right, so well, what was the first one? Whatever the first one was. Not saying. I put St James's Park because I thought you it's would like that. Do you want I put Park. White Hart Lane. I put Greg Lane. Then I think it's White Hart Lane. It's White Hart Lane, Rosie, you're right. <gasps> and St James's Park is Newcastle's One. ground, if you were wondering. I thought it sounded really nice. Like Cupid. I thought it like St James's was um, QPR. No, St James's. No. Oh. No, it's. Oh. Oh, please be right. Ooh. Please be right. <laughs> no way. Like no. this. Comment on this if I am right and he is wrong. Lee Middleton Nunn, I know you'll be listening to this. Yeah. Have my back. No, St. St James's Park. It was currently called Sports Direct because the owner, but I'm sure it's a Jesus. <laughs> what? No, you're thinking of the shop in town. No, but their owners, the owner, right, anyway, carry on. Right, so if X, Y, and Z are positive integers and three X, with that, right, Scott, what have you got? Uh, can I go last, please? Okay, Rosina? I uh, just can guess. Yep. 61. Okay. 49. I just wrote them all down. <laughs> Which one do you want to go for? 84. Okay. Can I get a bonus point if I explain why? No, because no. I don't give out bonus points. But you, right, you explain why then, and I'll say my answer. Well, I can do when you give me your answer. All right, I'm saying 80, uh, 61. Okay, Rosina and Scott are both right. Yeah. Explain. Next explain. question. Whoa, 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 explain. Next question. Explain. <laughs> Come on, there no. are students. <laughs> Seriously, there are kids listening to this, and okay, actually, listen. them getting some good maths knowledge out of okay, this quiz okay. makes it pointful. Okay. Basically, x plus y plus z. Um, if you look at their number in the alphabet, if you add them all together, no, it's 61. it's not even close to that. <laughs> so just for those that are interested, probably you'll be in secondary school if this will make any sense to you. But if 3x equals 4y equals 7z, you need to find the lowest common multiple of those three numbers, which was 84. And if 84 was the lowest common multiple, that means that z was 12, y was 21, and x was 28. And if you add them together, it came to 61. That was literally so Yeah, I, I knew that. How are we supposed to you guess? No. out? Yeah, well, I, I guess. just did. It, no, it's did like, you get it right? Yeah, no. you're a maths teacher. I'm not a maths teacher, I'm a drama uh. teacher, no. <clears throat> right, ne next, no, question nine. Vincent van Gogh sold how many paintings got we prep? He sold none. Okay. Yeah, put zero. A hundred. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Exactly 100. It's got a zero in it. Right. How much did you put? I don't put anything. Oh. You're all wrong. No, it was zero. Vincent van Gogh sold one painting to his brother. No. Yes, he did. He didn't. Yes, he did. He didn't. Vincent van Gogh sold one painting to his brother because his brother collected paintings and sold he them. He gave all. it to him. No, he didn't. He did. He sold it to him. He got money out of it. Honestly, he sold it to him. <laughs> James, the art critic. Uh, I uh, put one as well. I know my stuff. Sophie, each line Deutsch. <laughs> what am I saying? Well, Scott we prep. Why am I first every time? Oh, okay, I'll okay, I'll okay. We'll go. Well, no, because we've got to go to an order. So we'll go from right to left. Rosina. I said, "Where's the toilet?" <laughs> You'll take it as a compliment, you Sophie. Said I like it. <laughs> Sophie would no. like it. I said, "I have a pet." Well, I thought, "How are you?" Then when I thought, "Take it as a compliment," would be something like, "You are beautiful," or something, you know. I put "How are you?" crossed it out, and then put "You are beautiful," but then I put "I like you." Okay. Why right. would I take that? You're all wrong, but Scott, it's I love you. That's it. I'm having I like you. No, you're you. not. No, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> I was going to put that. Because wow. it's I love you. No, you, no. I put where's no. The toilet, so. Scott, take it off now. No violence. Right, so I'm taking one point off of Scott, so whatever happens. So it's Ich dein Deutsch is I love you. I've got, um. Right, Rosina, what have you got? One. <laughs> Hang on. Okay, Rosie, so what have you got? Remember, it gets added I've to your two. score from last week, so huh? you're on. Got three. Two. One. You've got two. <laughs> two. What, three? No, two. Right, one, two. I've got four, but I think I must have five because question six, I'm sure I'm right. Right, no, you're not. Right. I've got six. So Scott gets five, so there's a tie between Sophie and Scott, and I've got a tie-breaking question. <laughs> <laughs> she had four! Oh, right. <laughs> I don't even I don't even have a tie-breaking question. I was going to make one up on the spot. Right, so yeah, that's the end of my amazing quiz.
Question Brilliant. six is definitely right. No, it's not your right. Well, I tell you argue what. With Sophie on dates. Yeah, rather, I would because the website says that. Right. Yeah. Don't argue. She's more correct than the website probably. We will put a little add on to the end of the podcast explaining who. But now, as so. 20 minutes in, one feature down. We're going on to the weekly challenge. And the weekly challenge is a new feature, and I'll be back in two seconds with the challenge. Oh. Ow. <laughs> that was stressful. Is it still recording? Oh my god. So, you won't be able to see what I've just brought into the room, but judging by the staff's eyes, they're not overly happy with it. Just in front of the microphone now is a bucket of ice and it's fresh bought ice so it's really cold fresh and the challenge is nice and simple each member of staff will be given the story of jack and the beanstalk the pantomime from this year and they will need to try and read as much of the story as they can with one of their hands in the bucket of ice oh. they have to try and last one minute with their hand in the ice Okay, and the yeah. person who lasts the longest whilst reading the story wins. Okay. And starting off, because of how terrible the quiz was once again, <laughs> is James Peake. How do you tell the challenges? How, how, how long am I reading for? Well, yeah. once you get to a minute, if, as long as you <gasps> keep reading, you're fine. Right, so how long do I have to read for? So, a minute. <clears throat> right, hang on, get ready. And Does that say time. widow? Does that say widow? Starts yeah. as soon as you put your hand in. Right into the bottom. Yeah, the bottom. yeah right all right. Wait, calm down. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> no, you got to start okay, reading. Okay, no, no. Once upon a time, there lived a poor widow who had a... Oh, my God. Who had... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ah, it's got her. Only son named Jack. She was very poor for... For times had been hard for her. And Jack was way too young to work. Almost... Ah! 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 He's down my neck. Almost. The furniture was a little cottage. Had been sold by by bread. <laughs> <laughs> oh Scott! And, ow! Until last, there was nothing left worth selling. Only the good cow, Milky White. Is that Milky White? Ah! Remains. She gave milk every morning, <laughs> which she she took market and sold. But one day, Milky White gave no. M- oh, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> <sighs> and James did no. a very impressive forty-one seconds. Full credit to him for that. <laughs> okay, Rosina's up next. That is actually really difficult. It's meant to be. Honestly. It's not a challenge if it's easy. Right. <laughs> it will start. It's all oh, come closer to the mic. We want to hear the hand go in. I'm going to hear the pain. As soon as you're ready. Oh, I'm cold already. <coughs> I'm shivering. As soon as your hand gets to the bottom, Probably we go. down the bottom. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to have, like, false bite. I'm going to have false bite. <laughs> go, go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You've got to read. James, stop. <laughs> and Rosina stopped there at 16 oh seconds. Oh my gosh! Oh. She didn't even say anything. Really Next up, Rosie May Young. Oh, no, I'm not, can I put it down? I'm gonna have hypothermia, whatever it's called. Oh, are you holding it? Do it here. Yeah. Right, you ready? No. Starts as soon as your Wait. hand touches the bottom of the bowl. Wait, don't, yeah, don't put it in the bottom of my legs. The bottom. The bottom of the bowl. Really cool. Here we go. Ready? No. <laughs> James, I can't read it. Once upon a time, there lived a poor widow who had, a, had an only son named Jack. James, move your head. <laughs> make she was very cold. poor, for times had been hard, and Jack was too young to work. Almost all the furniture of the little cottage had been sold by bread until at last there was nothing left worth selling. I can't breathe. <laughs> um, only the good cow, Milky White, remained, and she gave milk every morning, which they took to market and sold. But one sad day, Milky White gave no milk, and then things <laughs> looked bad indeed. How's your hand, Rosie? Um, it's all right, actually. <laughs> Never mind, Mother, <laughs> said Jack. Oh. Never mind, Mother, said Jack. We must sell Milky White, trust me. Ow. To make a good bargain. And anyway, he went to the market. For some... Stop it! <laughs> It's going down her back. <laughs> it's not. For some time he went along very sadly, but after a little, he quite recovered his spirits. Oh, Rosie, yeah, I've done well the minute. Done. That was good. Well done, What's Rosie. Why is beat my minute? You can't beat a minute. It's only one for a minute. Oh, oh look at it. Look at it. Oh, imagine putting your foot oh. in that. No. 
was okay. horrible. It actually wasn't that bad. Yeah, it was. Sorry, we probably should have said this before the podcast. Please don't try this at home. Okay, don't mess with me. Don't mess with me. Let me just... Okay. No, please. This is, has to be a fair test. Fair test. Mine was all <laughs> down my back. Rosie didn't get any down. James, put that down. No. because I've got a thingy on. James, you can pick on me, not Sophie. I, I will pick on cold. you. Right, you ready? As mm-hmm. soon as your hand touches the bottom. Once upon a time, there lived a poor widow who had... Oh, it's a really painful! <laughs> 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 who had an innocent check. Oh my hand! I can't feel it. I can't feel it. <laughs> and Jack was too young to work. Almost all the friends had been so well fed. And Jack, I, can't, I can't see the words. I can't see the words. It's Only fun. a good cow, milky white, remained. Oh, my hand's still there because I could not feel it. And she no, gave it's me gone. Every it's really painful. We're sitting in the middle of the market and sold. But, but one day, Milky White, James, leave me alone, gave no milk, and the things were looked really bad indeed. Never mind, man, I was a joke. get a Milky White. Just me, just me, to make a good bargain. Ow! Oh, it's so painful. And went out to the market. But, that <laughs> went very sadly. But after a little while, he recovered with his spirits. I may as well. And that's the minute for Sophie. Oh, look at my hand. Yeah, How can just... I, yeah. Look at her hand, please. <laughs> <laughs> that is harder than I thought. That was good. It is yeah, hard. it is difficult. Oh, really cool. Okay. I need the other hand. Let's get ready for Scott. By the way, I'm going to Scott. Uh, I'm going to chuck ice all down Scott's back and every. I'm going to make sure this is painful. That? No, of course I'm not. Hey, yes, this is going to be painful for him. Right. That was painful. Oh, it is proper cold. Once yeah. upon a time, there lived a poor widow who had an only son named James in my ear. She was very poor. I put it in his ear. It tickled. <laughs> for time is a bit <laughs> Jack was too young <laughs> to work. <laughs> like a duck. <laughs> yeah, all, right my, all the furniture was in a little cottage. Oh my, it's so cold. <laughs> ah! Not on the arm. For times have been hard. Jack was too young to work. Almost all the furniture in the little cottage. <laughs> James, I swear to God, ah, until the last there was nothing left worth selling of the little cottage you've been sold to buy bread until at last there was not I've read the same line four times now. <laughs> Only the you good done it, you've done milky white. Yeah, oh, oh. It is bad. Oh, that was horrible. Um, was can we seriously stress, please don't try this at home. It might have sounded funny, and to be fair, it was up until it happened to me. But... <laughs> Please, please don't do that at home because it's proper cold and probably dangerous. That was that was funny. Okay, moving on oh, to our next make feature. Scott laugh. Make like, Scott laugh. Like, oh. So we'll bring Rosina and Rosie back from the fire, t- desperately trying to warm their hands up. Oh, this bat. Oh, so and <coughs> oh, sorry. Bless you. Oh, no edits on the podcast, so enjoy that at home. Hope it made you jump. If you had fallen asleep, you're wide awake now. And. We'll start with Rosina first. This is really bad. Oh, what, who was the winner of this last week? Uh, Sophie, Sophie won this last week. By the way, Sophie, are you happy that I said I loved you with the French thing? Oh, oh. sorry. You didn't give an opinion <laughs> about that. I think it's really sweet, James. Thank you. Oh. You didn't mean it, did you? I did, I did, I did. <coughs> Jokes. Right. Right, over to you, Rosina. Why did the strawberry cry? Oh. I don't know. Hey, it's my joke. <laughs> what? She's trying to make me laugh. Oh, it's not. Cool. It's not. He put his hand up. He put his hand up. Everyone. Oh, I was going to say. I don't say. know, Rosina. Why did the strawberry cry? Because his parents were in a jam. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I told you it was bad. No, I thought that was amazing. If that wins this week, we've got problems with this feature. Rosie, over to you. What musical instrument is found in the bathroom? <laughs> She's loving already. I don't know. A tuber toothpaste! <laughs> Why are you screaming? I'm not. <laughs> I don't care. 
Which is why Tuba. this feature is, is, is not called Make Sophie Laugh. <laughs> but it does. <laughs> James, over to you. What do you call a flying bagel? What do you call a flying bagel? Or a flying donut, let's say. What do you call a flying... <laughs> <laughs> I'm making it better. What do you call a flying donut? Don't know. A plain donut. <laughs> Get it, plain? I don't understand how it was going to work with bagel. <laughs> I don't know, it said bagel, but I thought donut was funnier. I thought it would be something to do with ring. Yeah. So you got me off guard then. Yeah. Right, okay. Sophie. What do you call a fly with no wings? A walk. <laughs> That's right. I don't even get that. Do, do you know what the worst <laughs> bit about this is for me now? I honestly can't pick a winner of that. Surely mine. A flying, yeah. ba- a plain bagel. <laughs> without any sugar. No, without any toppings. Without any toppings. Without any toppings. Without any toppings. Do you know what? I'm going to throw it open. Anyone listening, if you want to write to us and tell us which the funniest joke was, because I honestly can't pick this week's winner, because I thought they were all naff. So we'll see what happens. Right, feature number five. This was very popular on the old podcast. We didn't do it in the first week, but um, I should point out as well, if you're listening to this, this has hopefully been released on Sunday, which is the 15th, and we're recording this on the Saturday. You should also have got podcast from week one, which was our pilot, which came out yesterday on the Saturday. So normally they'll be every week, but we've released two in one weekend. Um, So this is our second podcast and a feature coming back, Ask Us Anything. And we've had two questions, which (laughs) to be fair, as we only announced um, the fact that we were doing it about half an hour ago, that's a pretty quick response. Yeah, not bad, not bad, well done guys. Please do keep the questions coming in and also you can write questions and put it in the Ask Us Anything box on the front (coughs) desk on a Saturday stage. Oh, I lie, we've had three questions now. Yay. Um, Whoa. Okay. Are they deep? The, well, the the, one, the question that's just come in from Lewis is actually very deep. Oh, like last week, rolling in deep. Um, <laughs> that's what the name of the round. Was. There was a round last week called. Sorry, Rosie wasn't in the podcast last week, so she's giggling at anything. Um, <laughs> Even if she's And Lewis has asked a question for <coughs> me. Have I ever fired someone from Stage Stars or asked a student to leave Stage Stars? Um. <laughs> I, in terms of have I ever fired a member of staff no I haven't um, I can genuinely say hand on heart we have somehow always been incredibly lucky with staff and actually we've had and you'll know from being members now we've got such a great team that we just make the team work with the new team um, so no I haven't fired a member of stage staff staff that I can remember Um it's been going 12 years. I don't think I have. Uh, have we ever asked a student to leave? I did say we'd be very honest with these questions. So there was this going back years and years. But when we used the globe, it wasn't us that asked a student to leave. But yeah, there was a there was some sort of issue with um, a student and their access to the globe. So they weren't able to do a show. So we didn't tell the student they couldn't do stage stars, but they weren't able to do the show. Um, inside the Globe Barracks so hopefully I, I answer that as honestly as I could hopefully that was a good enough answer for you Lewis um, second question is from Amber and much much easier to answer question much yeah. less <coughs> risky question what are the different <coughs> stages you go through to cast a show mm. which is a I mean I'll, I'll throw it open to the others because they've only cast sort of one or two shows now so I'll let them talk through how we've cast it recently and then maybe me and Sophie can pick up mm. how we used to cast it if it's changed at all um, <laughs> stages we go through um, one major thing with auditions is singing and a lot of the time we look at um, really strong singing and we and uh, like sort of get who we think were really strong singers and we look at what parts they could possibly get so what usually we do we go from the smaller parts to the larger parts and um what we do is i don't know <laughs> okay so i think what james was trying to say is we do singing quite often is the first thing we look at when we get to the casting so obviously you all know how the audition process works because you've been through it 
and if you're in the children's group it's different to the junior group and obviously the youth group you know you have a very different audition process um, when we come here to cast the show we then look at the singing straight away um, not because we rule people out that have got stronger auditions or weaker singing auditions because actually I can genuinely say for the last four years I've not had anyone that we've said oh they couldn't take a singing part but what we do do is look at the main singers in a show and we look at who gave really really strong singing auditions and we try and cast those parts first um, and then we sort of look at the parts that maybe don't sing as much or don't sing at all and then again look at who were the stronger acting auditions and it, it's really difficult, as yeah. you know, because it takes so many hours to cast the show. And who works with who? What people would be good together in yeah, similar I, parts? Yeah, I quite often say, actually, believable pairing. Yeah. Um, because we, we never cast a show based on look, really, or <coughs> height, or age, or anything like that, other than we've got to have a believable pairing. So, for example, um, if we had... actually. I won't use names, but if we... Well, pick on James. If we had James and we had um, him paired up with someone that had just joined in the children's group who was five years old, it wouldn't look a believable pair. Well, he's quite small, but it wouldn't look a completely <laughs> believable pairing. So we do try and make sure if people are working together or there's meant to be some sort of love story that it looks believable. But other than that, it's, it's really just sort of how good the auditions were. They're always brilliant, so that doesn't help. And then it's just trying to work out who would be best at what part hmm. and some people already suit parts don't they yeah yeah some people jump out at you don't they and you just think no one else could do that hopefully that answered that there's one other question that i think was asked sarcastically but i'm i'm going to pick it up and answer it anyway and this is from the lovely tracy wheeler so tracy if you're listening i'm going to answer your question and the question was one for me why don't i ever answer my messages <laughs> and the <laughs> The answer to that is is nice and simple. I do always answer messages, either sent to the Stage Stars account or sometimes to my personal account. Uh, but I don't normally answer things when we specifically say on the post to please PM us the questions and you write it as a comment. Thank you very much, Tracy Wheeler. Okay, moving on to the next feature. And... <coughs> That was Ask Us Anything, so we're on to number six, which is Couch Potato Catchphrase. So, lots of you, you'll have seen this last week, it didn't really go to plan. This week it's been scripted, we got a team of writers in, um, it's been done very professionally. And you'll have seen potentially Stephen Mulhern's version of Catchphrase on TV, where a well-known phrase or... Um, well-known phrase, what's the word I'm looking for? Saying is... Um, shown via picture well i'm now going to describe it via words because this is a podcast and our special and guest today is Stephen mohan in you come Stephen. Woo! hi guys no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hi guys welcome to couple country <laughs> and the staff are playing against each other and it's the first one to beep in and say what they think the well-known phrase or saying is so james let's hear your beep <clears throat> Okay, Sophie, your buzz. <laughs> Rosina. Bing. And Rosie. Beep. <laughs> Say it like Beep. it is. Okay, so, number one. Mr. Chips walks into his bedroom. Oh, I, I've added a new rule. You're only allowed one go. All right, okay. What's my buzzer? Sorry, you're only allowed <coughs> two goes, so you can't just keep going. You get two okay, chances. Yeah, yeah, right. two chances. Mr. Chips walks into his bedroom and looks around. Mr. Chips has lots of pets. First, he picks off his hamster and grabs it by the arm. He throws it round the room. It's great fun. Next, he picks off his budgie. He grabs it by the beak and again spins it round and round. Woohoo! Finally, he picks off his cat by the tail and spins it, but unfortunately it hits the wall. He tries again, but each time he hits the wall, but each time it hits the wall, Mr. Chips gives up. He can't spin the cat. So in his room, he can spin the hamster, and he can spin. <coughs> the, yeah. Is it like um, a household cat? <laughs> it's the well-known <laughs> saying a household cat. No, it's like what they call like. Oh. 
what they call when they're not when they're not outside domestic the domestic cat it's not a domestic because it's cat. like domestically abusing it when he's throwing it <laughs> <laughs> okay and I'll try and make it even more obvious he spins round the hamster with success he has enough room oh. to spin the hamster he spins the budgie with success oh. don't bite off more than you can chew Jesus no <laughs> Oh. He has enough room to spin the budgie, but when he tries to swing the cat around the room, he doesn't seem to have enough room to successfully do that. So he therefore does not... If there are adults watching this, I really <laughs> hope you're screaming the answer out. So when he tries to swing the cat around, the room is lacking. So therefore he doesn't he doesn't have enough room to swing a cat not enough room to swing a cat yeah so what's the so the phrase is not enough room to swing a cat that's a phrase I've never heard that before in my life I've never heard that I can't do this anymore <laughs> okay <laughs> nobody... number one hopefully someone will get number two Mr Chips is at school he's discussing some gossip with his friends the big rabbit the smelly tortoise and the small duck <coughs> yeah. Is it animal gossip? <laughs> <laughs> what phrase is that? Use like, that in a sentence. Oh, we were at school and I was talking to the tortoise, the hare, and <laughs> about their race, and it was like animal gossip. <laughs> Mr. Chips has a lot of pet. Uh, sorry, I'm on the wrong one. The big rabbit, the smelly tortoise, and the small duck. Later, when he goes home and repeats the gossip to his mum, she's horrified. She's so oh. horrified to hear this, she demands to know who told him. He tries to lie and blames the rabbit, but his mum knows he's lying. Then he tries to blame the tortoise, but his mum knows he's lying. Finally, he admits the truth and tells her it was his tiny duck. So the person who told him the gossip was the small duck. So therefore, it was, yes. He was a little quackers. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so therefore the gossip was something a small duck had told him. <laughs> yes. Never listen to a small duck. Oh my God. <laughs> She's had two now. She's out. <laughs> We're all, I'm giving up in a minute. It was something a small duck told him. Small or... Duck. It was Beep. some yes. <laughs> Quacking gossip. Quacking gossip. Is that it? What's that got to do oh. with size? <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Small little duckling secret. Small, no. <laughs> Something a little birdie told me. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, that's a duck. It's not. A, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> G genuinely, this feature isn't going to continue because this is mental. Right, last one. Hopefully they get this. I couldn't have made it any easier. Mr. Don't even point. Mr. <laughs> Chips. Mr. Chips is trying out new cuisine. I, I can't actually be bothered. I'm just going to read it quickly. Mr. Chips is trying out new cuisine. First, he tries a delicacy from India and it's some rice. It's really hot, so he swallows it quickly but eats it all. Then he tries some French food, a snail. He tries to force it down, but it slides all slimy and he feels it go all the way down. It was disgusting, but he still ate it. Finally, he tries some more French food, the legs of a frog. As Mr. Chips tries to eat the leg, he keeps coughing and it won't go down. He does everything he can to swallow it, but it won't go any further than his tonsils. There's something wrong with the frog. The frog won't go down. You <coughs> can't be... <coughs> yeah. in the hole. No! <laughs> what are you talking no, about? No, 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 no. No, there wasn't really. Toad in a hole. There was a frog. Oh, in it hit. Toad's going to He swallowed a frog. <laughs> oh, is that it? What? <laughs> <laughs> he had a frog in his throat. Frog in his throat. <laughs> Sophie wins. Feature is finished. Feature is not happening again. <laughs> I forgot my noise. <laughs> Jesus, that was hard. <sighs> I can't do this. Oh. Your stories are a bit long though. You get caught up in all the names and the things. Yeah, the sliminess. <laughs> what yeah. would you have preferred? Just he swallowed a frog, it got stuck in his throat. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that'd be good, yeah. That'd be easier. 
I right, we're moving on. <laughs> okay, luckily I I don't imagine there is anyone left listening, but if there is, we've only got two left. So try and bear with us for another couple of minutes. And we're on to Would You Rather, second to last feature. And the first Would You Rather is for James. What? James, yep. would you rather kiss a jellyfish or step on a crab? <laughs> can jellyfish kill you? Something. A crab can probably kill you. Nah. <laughs> Only if you got really crabby. <laughs> can that kill us, my joke? No, it was also wasn't funny, but... <laughs> right. I'm saying if I stood oh, on a crab, goodness. obviously I'd probably break it. So <laughs> I'm going with the crab. You prefer to stand on a crab than kiss a jellyfish? Yeah, definitely. Because you could die from a jellyfish but and I could easily... His pincer would go like right off into your foot. No, it, oh. wouldn't. no it wouldn't. Because... It would. No, it would. That's part of it. <laughs> you got ad thing. No, I just did. <laughs> Do I get electrocuted when I kiss it? Do you get electrocuted? <laughs> <laughs> it's a jellyfish. <laughs> no, as in like, do I get pierced? Stung. Stung, yeah. What, if what? Yes. Do I get stung if the jellyfish kisses me? I guess, yeah. So would I rather get stung or on the get mouth. pierced? Hmm. Or on your foot? I've stepped on Lego in my time, so I'm going to have to go for <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Sophie, would you rather have three tarantulas crawling around your house or have a glass box with a thousand maggots on your head? So both of them for a day. Are they dead maggots? No, they're live maggots. So the tarantulas could be anywhere in the house. You'll never know where they are for the day. Or you've got a thousand maggots in a like glass box on your head. How are the tarantulas? Then I'll go out. No, you're not allowed. You've got to stay in for the day. <laughs> I'd have the maggots. I won't mind that. For a day? They're in a box. You're in the box with them? Your oh. head's in the your box. Head's oh, in the box. I thought oh, I was talking about your head. head. Box. No. Oh, I thought it was you were on top of the I'd have the tarantulas. Oh, I thought I thought they were on the box on top of your head. What? So How, what would be the I point? Because I was like, that's I not that bad. Be, I thought we'd just be carrying them around in a box. Yeah, that's right. Right, Rosie, <laughs> would you rather have X-ray vision or bionic hearing? X-ray vision. Why? Because I can't see anything currently. <laughs> 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 so you'd rather see through mm. things. Yeah. What's bionic? Like oh. you can hear anything. Ah. That's cool. Mm. Well, X-ray vision, you'd rather be able to like see through walls than be able to hear what people are saying. Yeah. You could look through all the walls for me, check where the tarantula is, well. Yeah. Stay in the room. Yeah. Wow, we've double teamed it. Okay. <laughs> uh, Rosina. Yeah. On the theme of last week's, <gasps> would you rather... No. I'm worried about what your answer is going to be to this, <laughs> if I'm honest. Would you rather give up your phone or give up your pet? Like for life. For life. Oh, it's got to be a pet, surely. <laughs> I love my dog. Yeah, but. Ugh. Would you rather give up your phone or give up your pet? I would probably give up my phone. You are crazy. Ooh. No, I You're respect that. I didn't think it was going to be the answer, but what, you cope without your phone? Yeah. For no your life. texts, no calls. I message, no life. anything. Can I use Facebook? No, you only communicate by voice. What if there's no. an emergency? No, she, you can, need use, that she can use Facebook. What, can I use Facebook, like Messenger? Yeah, but not on a phone. You can use it on like a, a tablet. tablet. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Can, can you just... dial 999 on a tablet? Yeah. Oh, the dog could help you if you need help. Yeah. <laughs> My little pug. <laughs> <sighs> okay. And finally, ending a very long 50 minute podcast <laughs> with Sophie's fascinating fact. Get ready, your mind will be blown by fact one. The biggest volcano in the world, not in the world, the biggest volcano ever is in Mars. On Mars. Wow, that what? changed my life. Is that life. even possible? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't understand. Um, okay, you know what a volcano is? No, I know what, I know <laughs> what all those things are, but I don't understand why someone bothered to find that out. If you like, how does it affect us? Well... We're going to have to get a big one because we're losing right now. Act fact two. An ostrich can run faster than a horse. True. Yeah. 
they're, they're all true. true. Oh, <laughs> oh I, I had that on one of my quizzes, like an elephant can run faster than a mouse. Mm. An elephant could step on a mouse and then it couldn't <laughs> run at all. Yeah, true. Fact three. The only fruit in the world with seeds on the outside is a strawberry. Oh. That's my facts for today. They were rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> I'm running out. Oh my. Well, I mean, we were going to bring the podcast back, but I'm not completely convinced that anyone will listen anymore. So we'll stick it up on YouTube. We'll see if anyone gets anywhere near this 50 minute mark. Um, and if anyone does listen to the end, we might force ourselves to do another one next week. In the meantime, goodbye. Goodbye.